Dr. Jackson brings warmth and passion into his every single day interactions at Nathan Hale. Uh, something that I notice is that he creates spaces for students to feel heard and seen. We have places where they can share their concerns and worries, uh, and that helps build our school community and makes it stronger. I think his approachability, I think his ability to be comfortable in a lot of spaces, I think that's a huge strength and not every leader has that. He is really honest um, and will give you what you ask for, but he's thoughtful about it. He is not one that takes his job so personal that he thinks it's about him. He is very collaborative. He really believes that you need to bring all the brilliance to the table and talk it out, argue it out, wrestle it out, um, but figure out what the right um, way to go is. And so he is aware that there are so many people that have so much brilliance around him, so he really focuses on bringing everyone to the table. I think there are a lot of reasons why he deserves it, but the first one that kind of comes into my mind is how he listens. Dr. Jackson really listens to everyone in the community and really values everyone's voice. It feels really nice as a student to know that if I come to Dr. Jackson with a concern or with something, he will take me seriously. One of the things that is, I think, really interesting about Dr. Jackson is that he leads with love. And you don't hear that with school leaders very often. Um, in his interactions with students, in his interactions with families, in his interactions with the wider community, I think that's what drives and motivates him is um, trying to build a community that is love focused. Dr. Jackson's biggest strength is that he brings heart and love into every interaction. Uh, staff and families and students know that they matter, they know that they va are valued in our school community, and I leave every interaction with him knowing that I've been seen and heard and that my ideas, but more importantly, that I am valued here at Nathan Hale. I do believe in leading with love. One of my uh, messages that I send each week, uh, we call it our Friday message, it, it, it ends uh, with, uh, with love and it begins with beloved community and uh, that's, that's from my heart. Uh, I try to close out each message I send with staff with love. Uh, some of our staff meetings I, I share uh, that I love them uh, with students as well. In these times right now, it, it's really important for school safety, for a sense of belonging, for welcoming, and for uh, trust. Uh, they, they do have to know that there's an adult that uh, cares for them and, and believes in them and loves them. I think what makes Dr. Jackson a great leader is he really believes in what he's doing and he is a leader who leads from his heart. Everything that he does, he genuinely believes in it. So he believes in the students that he works with, he believes in the staff and the community, but he believes that this work is necessary and important. I think Dr. Jackson deserves the award Principal of the Year because I think he's simply doing things other principals aren't doing. When you think of MVP in like a sports league, it's like the most valuable player, and usually that player is doing what other players aren't doing. And that's what makes him most valuable. And I think for Dr. Jackson, that's what he's doing. He's very active with the students. He's always talking and asking for feedback. I believe Dr. Jackson deserves to be the principal of the year, mainly because he's always encouraging us to go above and beyond. He's been the core and backbone and support system for our BSU. To receive an award uh, that I didn't have to change who I am to, um, to receive that, uh, that, that means a lot to me personally. And that hopefully can demonstrate to others that they can be who they are and lead with their why and lead with their personal style and uh, not always receive rewards and awards, but they could be uh, receive recognition and support and uh, networks through that. And I think that that's very important. He's just a cool dude. You know, I think he's a great principal and I'm glad that he's my principal. I would just like to say that he's made a very big impact on me and I feel like I'll always remember him. So I just want a personal shout out and thank you for the best principal ever.